Welcome back, Citizens One All. Welcome back to more Dinkum. This is going to be a little bit different. We're going to jump in. We're going to talk about things that I wish I knew sooner. So we're going to just jump through a lot of different categories, some of the machinery, how stuff works, and things that I wish I understood sooner within the game of Dinkum. So bear with me as we get going. This is going to be a lot of edits, a lot of jumps, but I figured I would do a little intro right here and say exactly what's going on. So I hope you enjoy. First up, we're going to cover something that is pretty well known, but I think it's worth a mention. So everything you find when metal detecting. Keys, never get rid of them. You need them for the mines. Shiny disc, only sell to Franklin. Don't sell to anybody else. Uh, bright wires, old toys, button boards, smooth slates, ear hats. Decent. Hold on to a good number of them. Like, try to keep your balance around 50 Unless you're going crazy. Uh, green boards again, try and keep your balance around 50. Old contraptions, I would never get rid of unless you're entirely done building. These are used for a lot of the uh, late game machinery type things, including um, I think, uh, including even water tanks, I believe. Hot cylinders, old wheels, sliding handles. Uh, decent, decently used, keep a stockpile of about 50. Uh, springs and gears, never, ever, 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 ever get rid of these don't mind the alarm in the background never get rid of springs in old gears ever and back to glass bulbs kind of in tandem with the bright wires if you want to do a lot of lights don't get rid of those so early game there is some money to be had but understand what you want to get rid of and what you need to get rid of so something i just discovered today with the tractor let's uh switch the tool to planting seeds so you can plant seeds with the tractor. And what's nice about the tractor where you cannot do this that I've seen, although I've tried, you can't put fertilizer down by hand after you plant the crop. But you can with the tractor. So don't worry about fertilizing your field. You can put fertilizer down with the tractor and then you can also come back and fertilize the crop if you've decided maybe you want to boost the crop. So very cool, very, very cool. You're trying to mix it up with decorating your town. Here's a pretty unique way to do it. You can drop the dirt layer down by one and you can bury your planters so they have a different look to them and they're more even with the landscape around it. I personally have enjoyed this one a lot and I think it looks really awesome. Give that a try if you are bored with how you've been decorating. I think it's a great way to decorate and it kind of just keeps everything smooth and neat and I, I really love the look. Another neat little tip you want to display things, it's cool to make a little stair rack like this. I've seen a lot of people doing it. Don't know where the original credit goes, but I've enjoyed putting this together and hopefully we'll have this done soon. Not everybody knows this, but just so you're aware, when the beehives drop, you can sell them, but also remember you can break them open for a chance to catch a queen bee. This time we did not get one. That's our luck lately. But remember, you can always catch those bees from the beehives. Another great tip, and this is something I kind of just discovered last night, although I'm pretty sure most people know about this. You can uh, just throw the seeds on the ground square by square, as you see here. Then this is the best way to go back and backfill, and now you just scoop the dirt on each seed and move down the line. It's a much, much faster process, although it does take a little additional time to put the seeds down. You uh, forfeit that chance of accidentally dropping your shovel a million times over like I always used to do, so... Make sure and take advantage of this one. It's definitely one to, to do. To up with. Very generalized tip here. Make sure you keep an orchard going of all the fruit trees as well as the banana and coconut trees. You will, lose, you, you will use these resources a lot late game. And it's definitely worth it to keep up with. So you can uh, make that fruit salad, the pavlova. You need the coconuts for one or two recipes as well. So make sure you build a good orchard. Especially for mid and late game play. Make sure to keep a healthy amount of beehives going. Uh, apiaries, I like to call it. This is about 32, I think, or 31, and this produces a substantial amount of money with the consistency of getting the honey every couple of in-game days. So make sure you, you build one of these out. It's good, easy, free money, and it's worth your time. Definitely make sure to get some gotcha machines. I've got four of them, and they're always providing some pretty cool stuff. As you see there, we just got a nice iron spear, which I consistently use. These are also the reason why I have as many beehives as I do. I've gotten probably 25 
beehives from the gacha machines. So absolutely worth your time. Make sure you get some. Something you absolutely need to do pretty early on in the game is get John to at least four hearts. When you get him to four hearts, he will give you a recycle bin and you can throw your stuff in it if you don't want to sell it. But then at the bottom, things will spawn that are worth grabbing, like this crab pot. That's a pretty cool thing that just appeared today. Blue pattern wall, don't care so much about. And of course, up at the top here, this is stuff I've thrown in because I've grown too lazy to sell a lot of this stuff off. But make sure you get John to four hearts. Absolutely worth your time. Another cool little fact that you did not know, wish I had known this sooner. When you hold bugs in your hand, as you see here, we have these two queen bees. You can left click and left click again to place them in the ground in a little container. Now this works the same for fish. You don't need anything special to do this. You can just store things in this manner. So very cool little tip to know. Excellent for late game. Make sure you build out a, a little quarry farm. Uh, this one here should be finalized at about 30 quarries total and this has really changed how we farm and what we do as you can see here we've gotten really lucky and got all these big containers just right here at the edge and it's just lots of instant good loot absolutely worth it especially with all these containers here so make sure you build out a good sized quarry farm it's worth the expense it's worth the time to do so i'll show you why here in a second awesome containers there we go and of course normally I would loot everything here as well but we're just grabbing the containers to show you how quickly that all adds up lots of really good stuff there as well as five keys absolutely amazing and much better than running around with a shovel for for hours at a time another good little looting tip that I wish I had known ages ago you can loot everything just by holding right click and running around it will just auto loot everything within uh, a pretty close range of you, but better than trying to click on each little individual piece of loot. So make sure you just hold right click and run around and you'll get everything picked up. Something I wish I had known way sooner and kind of just ignored. When you order from Clover or from Melvin, you can actually order more than one thing at a time. And I never thought this was possible just because of how we had to order from um, Franklin. But no, you can come in here and press order a few times and get a bunch of that item next day by mail so make sure if you need to order stuff just order everything you need at once and you'll get it all the next day another great one to cover never throw these books away bug book plant book fish book machine manual although you can buy the machine manual again don't throw these books away left click to use them run around it'll highlight stuff definitely don't get rid of these they're super useful another great thing to cover is the town board now doing town board missions will give you additional uh quarter pieces of heart into those level ups with different uh, NPCs. So make sure to do these, if you, especially if you need to power level certain NPCs, this is a great way to get a jump on that. Oh, and remember that you can always take your jet ski out and fish while standing on your jet ski. This also works for the rowboat. Great way to fish. Make sure you take advantage of it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that about wraps this up. Uh, I, I went through as much as I could. I definitely started running out of ideas. This was a very last minute planned video to try and get out on Saturday. So, don't take care. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and share with your buddies. And keep on enjoying Dinkum.